Hey, this is Kurt Alterac with MusicMedic.com and the Sax Pro Shop. And I just want to show you guys uh, that allowed me to have a tour of your shop. I wanted to show you this shop, our shop, quickly and answer some of the questions that we talked about. So uh, recently I went up the East Coast and I visited a lot of repair shops and everyone was really great to let me see their shop. So, okay, here's our shop. Our shop is done in an assembly line. So like when you stand in our shop, you're basically inside of an overhaul. So this is body work. That's where the overhaul starts. Then it goes to key fitting. That's Ryan right there. And uh, a lot of the people aren't here today or somewhere else. Then it goes to uh, tone holes. And then we bring the horn over to materials. And here we put on the different materials that we use. Uh, then it comes over to dry fitting. And a hornet dry fitting is getting all of its bending done. So it's basically working through the shop right here. Comes right up through to dry fitting. Some horns get refinished and they end up here. And they come into this room and they get padding there with Sarah. They get set up over here with Matt. And, and you also, some of you asked about some of the, we talked about some of the projects that we're working on. And I wanted to show you this one because this is, this is one that a lot of us talked about. This is the new body mandrel. So I'm not sure if it'll be in this box or not, but this is the alto set and the tenor set has two more. So this is the this is the mandrel. This is where it goes onto the dent rod and you see that you see that it's it's this is a prototype set, but you see that it's recessed in there and the thread is inside. So that's so that you can fit the rod inside and it won't damage the threads. Although that's not so important with this our new rod because the the new rod has the threads set into it. They're not they're not cut into the rod, so these threads are like indestructible. But this rod goes inside and then screws in. So that gives it extra support. Um, the smallest one has a notch for the octave vent that sticks into the body. So this is the Alto set. This is uh, stainless, this is all stainless steel. All, most of our dent tools are stainless steel. The other thing that you asked about were the Rupad Extremes. Let me just see if I can show you. The Rupad Extremes come in three different colors. They come in chocolate kangaroo, black, which is the Saxe Gourmet, or white roux pads, and rather than a standard felt, they have this synthetic felt. On top of the felt is a piece of leather that we treat with a, with a waterproofing treatment, and the back of the pad is a, is a cardboard, and then we wrap the whole pad in a kangaroo leather, and the end result looks something like this. Rupad Extreme. The other cool thing we do is this fiberglass mesh. We put this fiberglass mesh into the pads. Let me see if I have one here that's, yeah, here's one that's cut up. So if you look at this pad, you see it has the kangaroo on top, then it has the lamb skin here. It has this synthetic felt, which is really stable. When it gets wet, when it dries, it stays stable. And then to make the pad the right thickness, we use this fiberglass mesh on top. That makes the pad thicker without having to make the felt thicker or the cardboard thicker. Doing either of those would would cause the pad to uh, would cause the pad to be really hard because of the cardboard or really soft because the felt was thicker. So that's the roux, that's the extreme roux pad that you probably got a set of in your shop. Okay, thanks. Thanks again. If you came to if you let me come to your shop, I appreciate it. And I look forward to getting up north again.